All right, guys, today I'm going to show you uh, had an issue with this is my downstream injector. First off, let me do this way. This is my two and a half gallon a minute pump. This is my downstream injector. All right, the issue I had is I had a plug coming out of here that was like this okay so I had this screwed into that and then that had a quick connect on it and then that quick connect was connected to this so this actual piece instead of sticking to here was out to about here so what happened is this coupler uh, should be able to zoom in on it. There's a split right there in the middle. And then there is one right there where that rusted spot is. And I don't know if that's just bleach use. I mean, I, I guess it's, you know, just uh, part of maintenance. But the thing is, when you have brass stainless steel coupler and everything and the bleach gets on it all this gets welded together so what's been happening is a ton of water spraying out like a sprinkler system when i'm spraying and i know some soap suds are coming out of it um i don't want bleach on people's grass because it'll burn it up even though it is diluted some i know that helps out but it's just like a big sprinkler system and then everywhere you got that your pressure washer is you have a big puddle of water if you stay in that one spot so when i started taking all this off backing it off the old way i had it this piece right here actually came this piece came off from the pump and i didn't feel comfortable just buying one i wanted to be able to have it physically in my hand and put it back in the pump to make sure so I went down to my small engine place today and after convincing them that I, I they if they had some pumps that they would have these uh, after some major hardcore convincing uh, they come back out with this o-ring and all so what's going to happen is I'm going to put this into the pump this is an eight millimeter hex head I'm gonna put that into the pump tighten it up this is an M22 fitting which is standard on these so I went to Lowe's and I bought a I bought an M22 fitting like this that's gonna go there like that and then my downstream injector of course has a plug on it is going to tighten up and go in here so instead of being out this far I just simplified it some uh, and you know I probably could have got something different from here to here but that's the about the best thing that I could find uh, not unless there's just an M22 to a, an adapter and that's pretty much what I got here so I don't think I could have got this any more simple than it is now and plus I like having the mail on the end that way I can just quick connect from my pressure hose uh, I've had people ask if this came with the injector on it and I've had this for four years and I never realized that there is uh, there is an injector port right here for cleaners and stuff I never knew that was there I have had this machine for three or four years and never knew that was there so I don't even know if you couldn't just hook a hose to that and use it as a downstream injector with the right nozzles because I mean it, it the water comes in and goes back out so I don't understand what the difference would be with the tip being here compared to it being you know right here I don't know so uh, Maybe I didn't need a downstream injector to begin with, but it's always worked, so I've used it. But it come, it come with that piece right there, and just for the heck of it, if I had the, uh, 
Well, just for the heck of it, I'll probably end up just hooking a hose up to it. Just see what happens. Because I may have not even needed any of this. But this is what I've been using for four years, three or four years. So that's what's going to get on there. But anyway, that has an O-ring inside. It tightens down. This has an O-ring in it. Like I said, it's an 8 millimeter. So uh, I'm going to tighten it up. And I got some tape. If you guys are working any kind of business like this, make sure you have like a little parts thing. This is just a little cheap one I come with. This is the, I think it's a 5 16 Yeah, that's what size my stainless adjustable clamps are. I always have some half inch bars. I always have a, like a water hose grommet and a screen. I got a couple of leftover cam locks and threads. I always keep tape. These, for sure, uh, if you look down inside of that, there's no O-ring. Same way with this one. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the couplers. I just don't have the J-rod on before I hit it, and it blows the O-ring out. So I had to replace that. So that's just a little tip for y'all. So I'm going to tighten this up and show you what it looks like when I'm done. When I go to tighten this up, uh, everybody has their own preference, but anytime I have a, a fitting or an angle like that, and then one like this or here, I'd rather use an adjustable wrench than a pair of pliers all day. One, I don't like to see the edges get chewed up and I think I can get a better grip with the adjustable anyway. So that's why I do that. All right, and there you go. It's a little bit cleaner, like I said. Uh, and if you go buy a machine, and you got this M22 fitting, which is going to be on most. I don't know why people don't say Lowe's or Home Depot. They always say big box store. That gets on my nerves. But anyway, any place you go by, like Tractor Supply, Home Depot, wherever, they're going to come with an M22 fitting on their gun, their wand. And most things you find in those places are going to have an M22. So this is an M22 fitting. This is a 3 8 plug. What we use on the end of our guns are quarter inch and that is a three eighths. Uh, yeah, three eighths plugs. And then for our barbs, we use half inch. Half inch there, half inch both sides. So uh, just a simple. PressureTech.com is where I got this from. It's been lasting for a long time. But if you go buy a new machine, all you got to do is get that connector I showed you. It's an M22 here with a, a female 3 8 My downstream injector, I tightened into it. Uh, when you get the injector, this uh, you can choose to whether you have a, a male or female here. I bought the plug, which I think the plug came from Lowe's also. I like to have uh, the male on this end and just quick connect on the gun. Uh, I just like that better instead of beating this around. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, and then just stick your hose on top and you're ready to rock and roll. Alright guys, so if this happens to you, uh, whether you have a downstream injector or whether you just have your regular hose hooked into this fitting, this is an M22 coming out. I don't know what size it is going in. But just go down to your local uh, junkyard, possibly, if you can find one. But your small engine repair, I mean, most of the time when they're working on these pressure washers, they just, the motors are good. They just replace the pump. So they'll have a ton of these threads. The guy told me after he said, I told him what I needed, he said he had a lot of these. So if this happens to you and this screws out, uh, it's an eight millimeter hex head to put it back in. Just go to your local small business area or uh, repair shop, lawnmower, anywhere it sells pressure washers or works on small engines, 
and ask them if they have those and more than likely you'll be able to get one and have it in hand and not have to order it. So that's my time for the day. I'll see you later.